Hi there, I'm Daniel and I'm speaking for Gondola Writing, Art and Design and today I'm going to be covering different types of roofs and how you can make them in SketchUp. What we're going to do to start off um, is a shed roof and this is the simplest kind of roof except for um, a flat roof. So what you do is you put a rectangle and you take one side of the one edge of the rectangle and then you lift it up. I'm going to be using two meters for all of these because it, it's a nice height for these size of houses and these are pre these are pre-made uh, just for ease and for speed. Then um, connect up the vertices and because this is a group down here, um, you're you're going to need to put in these baselines as well. And there's one more. Um, now, I'm just going to use some materials just to show you which parts are which. And that is a simple shed roof. Of course, you can um, fiddle about with details for all of these. Um, but simply that's the shape you want. Next is a mansard roof and again we're going to start off with um, a rectangle there and use the offset tool um, and I'm going to type in 1.3 because that's about the right size I want. If you double click in here you highlight the whole rectangle and use the move tool to move up. By pressing the up arrow you can constrain it to the blue axis um, which um, uh, will allow you to get uh, to make sure you get in the right direction and same with the last one I'm going to put in some textures so you can see what the overall thing would look like and that was a fast mansard roof. Next is the gable and this is going to come in later as well for um, a different type of roof and you can do this by taking the midpoint going up to two meters and I've, this is because I haven't constrained it so it was in the wrong axis direction which is a good lesson so what I need to do is lift up in the blue axis direction which is up simply speaking take the vertices to that point raise that middle line and of course I'm using the hotkeys for the speed push pull and pull it and this is works the same way as constraining so I can go over to this because it's exactly the same and that gives you the right uh, distance. Putting some textures in here and then the two up the top and that's a simple gable roof. You'll notice that uh, most of these, uh, most, of, uh, most roofs will have um, extra pieces hanging off the sides for the rain to run off. Um, I haven't done that for uh, simplicity um, but if you can work out a way to do it yourselves otherwise I'll put in another tutorial showing you how you can do that nice and easily. Next is the hip roof and it's a variation of the gable. So we go to the corner, do another rectangle as that puts the ceiling in the middle and um, then what we can do is exactly the same and take the middle lift up two meters and take the vertices to center point and move it to the same distance and it recognizes that that's the distance you want. 
now without having this line selected because otherwise we have a mistake I'm going to move this point two meters in the direction of the red axis and the same back the other way for this one and that leaves us with this hip roof uh, which I'm going to texture like this finally which involves the um, gable again is this it's an intersecting roof um, and it really is exactly what you would expect it to be it's just a mixture of two uh, gables and this is important for when you have a non a rectangular a non simple rectangular um, shape for a house uh, with this one you do exactly the same lift up here and this is going to be um, 1.5 meters um, because you'd expect it to be slightly smaller as it's not the main part of the house use push pull and there are two ways to do this. You can stop there and move the top point, or you can do the deletion method, um, where, which is slightly more complicated, but still really quite simple. So you do a line up to this intersection up here, and the same on the other side. Turn it around using the orbit tool, and do the same again. Now we can delete this line, these two lines, and these two lines on the side, and we're left with this intersection. You can um, leave it without these deletions here, um, but um, you'd find this one, this design, a lot more than the other one. Finally, some texturing, just to give it that final fill. and we're left with different types of houses different types of roofs this concludes the tutorial for roofing in SketchUp um, of course fiddle about with how much detail you want with these I'm going to leave it like that for simplicity I hope you can watch my next tutorial which should be out pretty soon see you then